Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes use it up, shopping our stash, and empties. And when I say empties, I mean empties. These are all of the products that I used up in the month of August. We're gonna go through these, we're gonna do speed reviews, and I'm going to tell you whether or not I like them and whether or not I would repurchase them. So if you wanna hear all about my huge basket of August empties, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. And check out the description box down below where I will link all of the products that I'm sharing with you in today's video, all of the makeup that I'm wearing, if you would like to recreate this look. My favorite beauty subscription boxes and Lastly, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. So I used up a lot in August, so let's jump in. Like I said, I'm going to be giving you speed reviews, letting you know whether or not I like these products, if I would repurchase them, if I've already repurchased them, or if I absolutely hated them. So first, let's start with the body wash from the brand M Green Grass. This is their Cardamom Lavender Body Scrub. Now this came in a subscription box. I did not like this. I mean, I used it. I used it up. It has a very odd smell. It smells kind of like the soap that you find in a doctor's office. So I didn't really love the smell. It's supposed to be a body scrub, but it didn't really exfoliate my skin at all. And I found that it was really hard to squeeze out because of the little exfoliating beads that are in the body scrub. So I did not like this. I absolutely would not purchase and honestly, I'm glad that it's gone. Next up is a hairspray. This is from the brand Sebastian and this is the Shaper Plus hairspray. I love this hairspray. I bought these at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I bought two of them. This is the second one that I have went through. I like this hairspray for a lighter spray. So it doesn't leave your hair feeling stiff and crunchy. So it definitely is a more pliable spray, but that's what I like. I don't use a lot of hairspray. I like to just set my curls basically, or set my straight hair. So I really enjoy this and I absolutely would repurchase. Same with hair care. I finished up the AIA Detox Dry Shampoo. Now this is $1.88, I believe on the AIA website. This is in the smell Wild Lilies. It smells really good, and supposedly it's supposed to detox your hair. I don't know if that happened, but it definitely is a great dry shampoo for less than $2, and I loved the little small size. It is perfect for travel. Definitely would buy again. I used up the Ulta Healthy Hydration Cleansing Balm. Now, I bought this at Ulta just to test it out. The smell of it is kind of weird. It has kind of a vanilla scent to it, but it's not the most pleasant scent, which doesn't really matter because you're just using it to remove your makeup, but it works really, really good. And I did find that after I removed my makeup, my skin did feel pretty hydrated. Sometimes cleansing balms can make your skin feel really dry. This one did not. I really, really enjoyed this. And because it's the Ulta brand, it is super affordable. Another MAC Fix Plus Done. This is one of my favorite makeup mists, my favorite setting sprays. I love this to set my makeup, to set my skin for makeup, to spray my brush for shimmers. It is one of my all-time favorites. I've already repurchased. I usually have at least two in my backups. I can't recommend it enough. Back to another hair product. I actually finished quite a few hair and skincare items in August. This is from the brand Milkshake, and this is their Silver Shine Conditioner. Now, I purchased their Silver Shine Shampoo as well. Used that up a while ago. I always go through shampoo a lot faster than conditioner, and this is actually a purple shampoo and conditioner line. So it's great if you have blonde highlights. It works fantastic. It helps take the brassiness out of the blonde, and I love the conditioner. I have really dry hair, and this makes my hair feel really soft, really shiny, definitely would repurchase. I have several pairs of lashes, as always. First is the Ioni Dramatic Wispies. These are from the Dollar Tree. I always say, if you can find the Ioni lashes at Dollar Tree, get them. They are so good. They are such fantastic lashes. I always buy like four or five pairs every time I go to the Dollar Tree. I also finished up this pair of Ruby May lashes. These are the Queen. These came in my Lashy box. I love that subscription. That is linked down below for you. Love, love, love that subscription. And these lashes I really enjoyed. And these also came from Lashy box. And these are from Cass Cosmetics. And these are in the airplane mode style. I actually loved 
all of these lashes. I finished up from the brand Body Balm. This is their Tea Tree Oil Australian Body Care After Shaving Lotion. I am obsessed with the smell of tea tree. I love everything about it. I love it. This actually came in a subscription box and I used it after I shaved my legs and it just gives that tingle to the legs. It feels so, so good. I am legitimately sad that this is gone and I am going to be hopping online to repurchase it because it is such a great cooling after shave lotion and it adds a lot of hydration to the skin as well. I loved it. Another staple for me is from the brand Soap and Glory. This is their Heal Genius Foot Cream. This is fantastic. Whenever I get a pedicure, Jeremy, who does my pedicures, also makes a com always makes a comment about how soft my feet are. It's this. I put this on my feet every single night, really focusing on my heels and my toes and in between my toes, and it just makes my feet so soft and it is super super affordable because it is soap and glory brand i always buy this on alta's website i already bought another one i think i have two of them on hand actually because i never want to be without it it is that fantastic another staple and an empty i have pretty regularly is from the brand amica this is the bust your brass repair mask so this is a purple repair mask for your hair. Let me just put you onto this. If you have never tried the Amica Bust Your Brass line, the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, and you have blonde hair, gray hair, light hair, highlights, you need this. This is an amazing product. There is voodoo magic in here. It literally takes out every single ounce of brassiness, and I can go months and months between hair coloring whenever I use this. It just pulls out any dirtiness to my blonde and makes it nice and pretty and shiny and soft and amazing. I love this hair mask so much. I told my hairdresser about this. I have turned so many of you on to this and you guys love it. Can't not recommend it enough. And it is pretty affordable for a hair mask and it lasts forever. This is a huge, huge container. A little bit goes a long way. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Another dry shampoo finished from Coco Lab. This is the Paradise Oil Absorption Without White Dry Shampoo. This is okay. I buy this at Target. It's pretty affordable. Is it my favorite dry shampoo? No. Does it work? Yes. It definitely helps with the greasiness. I work out a lot, so I use a lot of dry shampoo. I only wash my hair once a week, so I truly rely on dry shampoo to help absorb oil and sweat and dirty in my hair. And this one, although it's not my favorite, it is affordable and it works really well. And it is true. There is no white cast, which I appreciate because I have fairly dark hair. Let's talk about a few more lashes, starting with Ruby May Goddess Lashes. These these also came in my Lashy Box subscription. Love Ruby May lashes. And Lashy Box has their own brand of lashes, which are incredible. These are offline, and I loved these. And then lastly, I finished up this cute little pair from Amazon. Now, the majority of the time, including the lashes I have on today, my lashes either come from Lashy Box or they come from this big pack on Amazon. You get 30 pairs of lashes for about $20 six different styles and they are really, really good quality. So I'll link the big Amazon pack down below. I also recommend that greatly. My favorite brush cleaner in the entire world comes from Cinema Secrets. This is the makeup brush cleaner. I just bought the big, huge bottle of this. This is the only makeup brush cleaner you need. It literally cleans every ounce of makeup off of your eye brushes, face brushes, leaves them dry. They dry instantly. Like you literally clean them and can use them five seconds later. It is such a great makeup cleaning. It is such a great brush cleaner. Best of the best. Million out of 10. It is a little bit pricey, but again, a little goes a long way. And if you want your brushes clean, clean, that is what I want is clean, clean. No bacteria, no leftover residue of color. Get the Cinema Secrets. You won't be sorry. It's well, well worth the money. I finished up two foundations two foundations, one that I love, one that I don't so much love. First, I used up the She Glam Foundation. This is Shein's makeup brand, and this is the Complexion Pro Foundation. Obsessed with this foundation. It is so good. It is under $10. It is seamless on the skin. It gives this really pretty airbrushed look to the skin. I love, love, love this foundation. I actually just did a full face of Shein makeup 
coming soon here to my channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed, your bell's turned on, and I use this foundation and rave about this foundation. And I finished it up since filming that video and I've already bought a replacement. And then I used up the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I don't love this. I thought that I liked this when I first got it. I used it in a full face of drugstore makeup here on my channel and I liked it. But the more that I used it, the less I liked it. I feel like it's blotchy and patchy on my skin and I just couldn't get it to settle into my skin. I felt like it was always sitting on top and I hate that with foundation. I used it up, but I will not, will not be repurchasing. And honestly, this is cheaper than this and this is a million times better. I also finished two Dossier fragrances. Now Dossier basically dupes high-end fragrances. So they make a more affordable version of high-end fragrance for about 20 to $39 a bottle. So I did finish up the floral lavender scent, but I really like Dossier. This one smells really good. It is very, powdery floral, so perfect for summer. And then I also finished up the floral rhubarb and I love this one. This one is more fruity and I love a good fruity fragrance. These work really well. Now the longevity isn't the same as the high-end fragrance. I usually have to reapply throughout the day, but the price point can't be beat. And I have about 20 Dossier fragrances and I really, really enjoy them. I will link them down below with a discount for you guys. From the brand Rusk, I used up their Shine Spray. So this is basically a hair shine spray. I really enjoy this product. You used to have to buy this at like Cosmo Prof and Salon high-end salon stores. Now you can pick this product up off of Walmart. It's from Walmart. It's about $10 and all it is is a shine spray. So you just spray it in your hair and kind of push it in with your hands. I guess there's a tiny bit left in here actually. So let's use it. Push it in with your fingers and it just gives your hair this really pretty shine. Helps with frizz and dryness. I love it. I already am on another bottle of it. Whenever I order, I usually buy two or three of them and it lasts a long time and it's really affordable. We have some finished skincare from the brand Biosance and this is the Squalene Plus Omega Repair Cream. I love this moisturizer. It has basically no scent. If anything, it kind of has an oceany scent. It's very, very pleasant. It's very, very light in scent. This is an amazing nighttime moisturizer. I was legitimately sad when this was empty because I would wake up in the morning and my skin would feel so good and so hydrated. I love this. Now I have a lot of moisturizers on hand because I get a lot of subscription boxes, but this one, I will buy this again. I truly loved it. If you have dry skin or if you want to wake up with glowy, hydrated skin, pick this up. You won't be sorry. From Earth Harbor, I used up the face oil in Lapis. This is, this was my nighttime face oil. It has a really good smell. It actually reminds me a little bit of tea tree. That's why I think I like it so much, but I love the Earth Harbor oils. They are so good for the skin. Again, adds a ton of hydration. So what I did is I paired this with the Biosense moisturizer. Amazing, like my skin didn't look better. So I will be buying both of these to pair these together. A body lotion, a little mini body lotion from Ahava. This is the Smoothing Body Lotion Superfood Kale and Turmeric. This I just set on my desk. I always have a small little hand lotion on my desk. This was okay. It was nothing to write home about. It didn't really have much of a scent. And for hand lotion, I like a scent. I like my hands to smell really, really good. I wouldn't buy this again. It came in a subscription box. I'm glad I tried it out, but it's not something that I would repurchase. From the brand Flower Beauty, I almost used up this entire bottle. This is the Heat Wave Bronzing Essence. So you can see that there's still a little bit of product in here. It is so clumpy. I don't know what happened. This is not even that old. What I bought this for was to add a little bit of glow to my skin. Right now I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. That's what's on my skin right now. But I bought this in place of that. This is a much more affordable option. It has the little dropper top, which I actually really like, but it is so clumpy in there. Like I cannot get the product out. I ended up slamming it onto my hand to get as much of it out as I could. And then I just gave up. So unfortunately, because of the longevity of this, I wouldn't repurchase it. It's a great product. It adds a really pretty glow from within, a little bit of bronze to the skin, but just the formula itself didn't work for me. Now this worked for me and this product I love. This is from Ren Skincare and this is their Brightening Dark Circle Under Eye Eye Cream. 
I love this product. It has a little pump top. This was a choice item in FabFitFun for fall, and you can bet I got it in my FabFitFun box because this eye cream is one of the best I have ever used. I used this in the mornings. It layered beautifully under makeup. It added a ton of hydration. And what I noticed about this, two things. Number one, it helped with the darkness under my eyes, but number two, it filled in all my fine lines and wrinkles. So when I put on concealer and makeup, flawless. I I love it. I truly, truly love it. I'm so glad that I have a second one from FabFitFun. You can buy this on Sephora and you can bet this will be a regular eye cream in my morning skincare routine. A little spray hand sanitizer from Trader Joe's. I actually really like this one. I have a second one of these in my purse. This is the grapefruit and lemon and I like it because it's a spray hand sanitizer and it's just really convenient to give a quick spray, rub your hands together. I really, really like this. I think this is a free product at Trader Joe's. The scent may just vary, but I really like it. Highly recommend. I think it's about $4. One of my very favorite mascaras is from ColourPop. This is the Act Natural Mascara in Black. I finish this up. I always buy this mascara. Whenever I place a ColourPop order, I buy one. This mascara gives length, volume, and blackness to the lashes. It's like $10. It's one of the best mascaras I have ever, ever used. I love the wand on it. It is that kind of big fluffy wand. So you can really get in there and pull it through your lashes and add that volume and length. Love, love, love. From the brand Apple and Balm, this is their lip repair mask. So this product came in a subscription box. It's from the brand Seraphine Botanicals. I've actually received this a couple of times and I've went through it solid a couple of times. I love this mask. It smells so good. Apple. It is like apple-y and sweet and it is a great nighttime lip mask. So I would apply this to my lips right before bed. It really helped with dryness throughout the winter and I love this product. Whenever I see this in a BoxyCharm pop-up or an Ipsy pop-up event, I always purchase it. Really, really excellent lip mask. From the brand Lash Food, this is their Lash Enhancer Primer. So Lash Food actually sells a eyelash growth serum that I love, that I use all the time. I'll link that for you too. But this was their primer. So this is their eyelash primer. This was fan fantastic. Whenever I wasn't wearing artificial lashes and just mascara, I primed my lashes with this first and I noticed that it helped with the volume and the length of my lashes. I really like it. This is a small size that came in a subscription box. I definitely want to buy the full size. From the brand NYX, it is discolored from using this in my brows. This is their brow glue. This is a great product. This product will keep your brows in place all day. You can see that you just brush the little wand through your brows. And when they say brow glue, they mean brow glue. Like it actually works to keep your brows in place all day. And I have pretty wild and crazy brows. So I need something to set them into place. This is honestly the best one that I found and it's super affordable. This is not empty, but I stopped using this. This is the Juvia's Place. This is the Prep and Prime Eye Primer. I hate this product. I hate this. I would say it's about halfway gone. I can't anymore. It is the biggest oily mess. No matter how much I shake this up. I mean, listen, can you hear that? It is like liquidy, oily eye primer. It did absolutely nothing to keep my eyeshadow in place. I prefer my Mac paint pot and painterly. That's my go-to. I'll link that for you definitely get that one. Skip on this one. I just didn't like it at all. It was oily, it was messy, and it did nothing for my eyeshadow, and I just, I, I can't use it anymore. So I, it, it made its way into my empties. And last but not least, this little cutie patootie right here. This is the NARS Glow Foundation. I got this little sample from Sephora. I love this foundation. Oh my gosh, I love this foundation. It added such a pretty glow to my skin, this glow from within, not this glittery, shimmery look, but a glow from within. I'm buying the full size of this. I loved it, I loved it. I've never tried, I've never tried a NARS foundation. This one is incredible. It had this cute little spatula on it, and I think I used this three or four times before it was gone. 
really, really excellent foundation if you like that kind of glow from within. Holy moly, that's a lot of empties for August. It always feels really good and rewarding to use up product. I have a huge makeup, skincare, hair care collection. So whenever I can use something up, I'm like, yes, you go girl. So this is quite a bit of empties for August. Again, I'll link everything down below for you if you're interested in testing any of these products out for yourself. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. Down in the description box, along with all of my August empties, I will link all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, my favorite beauty subscription boxes, including Lashy Box. And of course, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. Loving, loving, loving all of August empties.